It's not unusual for members of the Vancouver Island Marmot Recovery Team to see the sunrise from a mountaintop. This morning, we're heading to the Haley Lake Ecological Reserve. After driving on logging roads for an hour, there's a 30-minute climb to the top of a ridge. On the other side lies a subalpine meadow. Let's take a look. All right, we got babies. We got babies. Okay, that's live wire burrow. I could count three. Oh, this is great. Oh man, this site needed it. I like to take people to this spot. I think it's very unusual to be able to stand on a mountaintop and and literally be able to see the the world range for a mammal species. Um, so what we're looking at here is the the marmot epicenter of the world. Uh, it's about 150 square kilometers and it contains 99 percent of, uh, of Vancouver Island marmots. Marmots breed in the spring and the babies emerge a couple of months later. Marmots are very social animals that rarely display aggressive behavior. Man isn't recognized as a predator, so people can get very close. So close, it's hard to remember these are wild animals. For instance, here's mom sitting close by, watching calmly as her babies investigate the cameraman. This colony, known as F-19, has young animals that are untagged. We have a minimum of four yearlings here that are untagged and four animals that are, are tagged. Our primary purpose today is to see if we can't get, a, get tags on a couple of additional yearlings. And in fact, these animals are candidates for movement back to Toronto as part of the captive breeding program. So let's keep our fingers crossed. A key part of the rescue plan is the creation of a captive breeding program at the Toronto Zoo. In early August of 1997, the recovery team successfully captured and moved six marmots to the Toronto Zoo. They sent two females and four males of varying ages. Nobody works on an animal for, uh, for 10 or 11 years, as I have, without becoming inordinately fond of them as individuals. A lot of those animals out there I know very, very well. Um, I know, if you will, quite personally, and it, uh, to be honest, it breaks my heart every time I have to catch one, every time I have to uh, immobilize one with drugs, um, every time I have to disrupt their natural lifestyle. Okay. For me, the idea of having Vancouver Island marmots in a cage in Toronto Zoo is not pleasant. Um, you swallow your pride, you swallow your feelings, and you hope ultimately that what you're doing is in the best interest, not of those individual animals, but in the species as a whole.